Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 10 box slap shot hockey mixer. And listen, we're giving away an Austin Matthews autograph jersey here. And for those of you in this break, these people right here, you're in that promo break uh, for the Mahomes jersey and break credit, which is coming up after this. So there could be a couple jerseys making its way into your hands. This should be a pretty nice break too. We comboed up Arizona and Vegas. There are all the boxes right here. And let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams eight times. Five and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six. And eighth and final time. After eight, five and a three, eight times, we've got Walter down to Nick Stober. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got Pittsburgh down to Detroit. All right, so Walter, you have the Penguins, Michael with the Preds, Chris with the Senators, Jason with the Blackhawks and the Lightning, Ryan with the Hurricanes, Travis with the Panthers, Nick with the Canucks, Matt with the Rangers, Ray Hughes with the Dallas Stars, Russell with the Leafs, Ryan Kaysen with the Jets, Maddock with the Sabres, Zeb with the Caps, Steve with the Wild, Hughes, you have the Coyotes and Golden Knights combo, Steve Birch with the Avs, Chris with the Devils, Travis with the Bruins, Stubblefield, you got the... Kings, Ryan Harold, a couple of Ryans in this rake, Flyers, Adam with the Islanders, Mike Tower with the Ducks, Steve Birch with the Blue, Blue Jackets, Mike with the Oilers, Jason with the Blues, Jack with the Sharks, Steve with the Flames, Ryan H with the Canadians, Nick S with the Detroit Red Wings. So we'll get all this on one page. We're going to pause the video just for a few moments. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good. So here we are in Jaspie's 10-box slap shot mixer on Thursday night. Appreciate everyone spending a bit of your Thursday with us. No Thursday night NFL, so it's a little weird, but hey, you have Jaspie's. All right, we've got a bunch of boxes. Right? Obviously, we're going to end with that cup box at the very end there. We'll work through this old box right here, 1314, and then we'll work our way through the heavier base card type stuff and then we'll kind of roll through this way and end with the cup. And then we'll give away that Austin Matthews jersey, right, auto jersey. And it's authentic too. It's got the, uh, has the Reebok tags on it. So we'll give that away to someone in the break. And then uh, as indicated in the break schedule, we'll also have that promo the Mahomes jersey promo randomizer too so it is entirely possible that someone could win the Matthew the Austin Matthews jersey and win the Mahomes jersey this is back when Panini did hockey Now, forgive me beforehand for my uh, terrible pronunciations of, of, these, of these names. Some of them just really, I don't watch enough hockey, some of them really trip me up though. Definitely improved over the years, but I still get jammed up sometimes. All right, we've got a jersey and auto for the Oilers, 40 out of 99. That's Victor Fast. Rookie jersey and autograph for the Oilers. Mike Krasinski, is he, is he still around? Or, would, or did he turn out to be a bust? I don't know. Someone let me know, hockey fans. We got Matt Molson in that prism design. 
Never heard of him, says Jack. And Jack's a hockey fan, all right. So maybe he didn't he didn't work out. All right, so we got some prism designs mixed in here. And a most likely expired redemption. What about this guy? Is this guy still around? This rookie? Uh, Mark Garbario, maybe? The redemption is Ryan Murphy. I don't. I have no idea where Ryan Murphy goes. Let's check the checklist. Ryan Murphy was a. This is 2013. I know it's expired, but I think he was a hurricane. Yeah, he's a hurricane. That goes to Carolina. That'll be for that'll be for Ryan Harold. Now, Ryan, as I say to everybody on this, I know it's an expired redemption, but Panini is pretty good about honoring expired redemptions in one way or the other. They might actually have this card, or they'll give you something in return. Points, maybe. Points aren't bad though, because they have those uh, sparkle or speckle packs in the store, and they have done those kaboom packs. And those actually have some really great value. There's Jason. Uh, Megna to 299 autograph and that select design this is almost like chronicles for hockey is this guy good penguins that'll be for Walter and Pittsburgh there's Connor carrot all right, so we're looking at a lot of fringe players here, says Jack. What about this guy? Cameron Schilling, hot rookies for the Caps. Zeb, on the board. Oh, man, another fringe player? Okay. Okay. Right. Must be like a, a fringe box, I guess. There's... Connor Allen. There's rookie gear, Frederick Anderson. What about Frederick Anderson? And there's Manny Malhotra. Mal yeah, Manny. Oh, Steph is saying that Frederick Anderson's pretty good. And he's a Leaf now. All right. All right, let's go back to what is this? This is 2020. This is 2019. Yeah, should we do 2015 16? Is that, that's the Connor McDavid class, right? 15 16? So this is time for Mike Grzynski to really pay attention. And Mike won this spot too. Won this spot and got randomized the Oilers. Now again, with my limited knowledge of hockey, all indications seem to be that, that all the Connor McDavid hype has has been answered, right? Like he's the real deal. Which is great. It's hashtag good for the hobby. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. Yeah, the person who got the the, when Jason Jaspi pulled that Connor McDavid RPA out of the cup, jersey number RPA out of the cup, 
Yeah, the person who won that had gotten into some sort of filler break. I think it was a number block? Some sort of filler break. And uh, got the right number, won the card. And Jack's saying all, all McDavid really needs to do now is to win a Stanley Cup and then he, he's, he's cemented in hockey history. Well, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't take... Ryan's pointing out that, that it took Ovi over a decade. Hopefully it doesn't take Connor McDavid over a decade. Even just a, even just a base card of his could could do well. Here's Yari Curry, Edmonton Oilers, Mike. There you go, Oilers. Now maybe we can find another guy from the Oilers out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can't claim McDavid, I'm afraid. We can claim Austin Matthews, though. There he is right there. Isn't there, wasn't there someone from Connor Ma McDavid's town that was drafted recently? Like that town's just producing like top tier hockey talent? I feel like I saw that bit of trivia. Is it Cole Harbor? Yeah, I guess there must be something in the water out there. And we got profiles material in the Zine Kadri, Toronto. Russell with the Maple Leafs. Get a McDavid rookie card at least. And then we got that that debut card or whatever that was, the black and white one. Mm. No, well, there's another 15-16 opportunity coming up in a little bit. All right, let's get some of uh, let's get this current series one going.
Looking for those Young Guns cards, of course. And looking for... Who was that? Who was that guy that got... Yeah, Alexis Lafreniere is what we're looking for in the next two boxes here. Young Guns. Maybe a Young Guns Parallel. I don't know if because he have autographs. I'm assuming he has autographs in here. So Rangers, Matt Arnold. You want to pay attention to these next couple of boxes. Uh, very few autos in this series one though. I'm being reminded. I th yeah, I think it's most mostly about the young guns. I think. Who else is in here? Is is that is the Kings guy in here? Quentin Byfield. We we watched the draft here at Jaspies with, with rapt attention because the Kings had the number two pick. We're like, who's the guy? Are we trying to get into get into the shop? Maybe do some autos, do some do some signings maybe next year. Oh, he's in series two. What about? Sorry, Matthew. Um, who else do we do? We like Tim Stutzel. What about Lucas Raymond? Jake Sanderson. Are these guys going to be? Jamie Drysdale. Don Don Don's grandson. Now, this guy named Jack Quinn throws me off. There's a Jack Hughes and a Quinn Hughes, right? Is Jack Quinn a combination of those two? Like they melted those two guys together and they made a super, a super hockey player who only went eighth overall to the Buffalo Sabres? It's going to throw me off. All hockey season long. Yeah, I think the Hughes Bros, but there's a there's a Jack Quinn hockey player. I feel like they just mashed those two guys together and turned into one one monster hockey player. All right, and then the, the, there's a see there's Quinn Hughes. That's very, it's very confusing. There's Austin Matthews Dazzlers. It's an upper deck canvas. Young Guns canvas, Vitelli Kravstov. And upper deck game, Jersey, Mark Shifley. Took me years to be able to pronounce that. Winnipeg, Ryan Kaysen. Michael DiPetrio, Young Guns for the Canucks. That will be for Nick Stober in Vancouver. <laughs> Philip Broberg, Young Guns for the Oilers. That's going to be for Mike and Edmonton. Stick them on the hands. There's Krill Ustimenko, Young Guns for the Flyers, Philadelphia. That'll be for Ryan Harold. There's the Eric Carlson canvas. There's Kiefer Bellows. Young Guns for the Islanders, Adam with the Islanders.
We've got Ollie U O Levy. U O Levy? Young Guns. Going to Vancouver. That'll be for Nick Stover. Canvas and Mikhail Burdine, Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jets, Ryan. Do they look rounded? Adam saying, are the Acorns and Young Guns cards usually slightly rounded, not damaged, but not sharp? I wonder if it's the design that makes it look like that because they shadow it on the bottom. I mean, they look all right to me, but Ryan Harold has heard that they, there, there's some issues. Adam's saying he's just trying to gauge the condition of some of his Lafreniere cards maybe for grading purposes. He wants to know that is it just his or is it common to everything else? Ryan Harold saying he thinks it's it's pretty common. Oh, if it doesn't say ten, oh, then it must have just sold out recently. It'll be on the schedule then. It must have sold out while I was doing this. So it'll be in whatever open time slot there is afterwards. There's a little Lafren Lafreniere checklist. No, it was, uh, it was this guy, Nate McKinnon and Artemy Panarin. I think I missed. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was those two guys. All right, maybe we'll find him in here, and we'll kind of keep an eye on those young guns cards. See what those corners look like. But yeah, I'll go Tanner. I'll go through orders after this, and we'll keep adding to the schedule. I don't think too much was sold out, or nothing was sold out when I started this. So that select box finally sold out. We'll make that happen. That'll probably be right after this. My guess it won't is it won't be too crazy tonight. Sometimes I say that, and then it becomes crazy, but. I don't think it's going to be too crazy tonight. I think in lieu of the, the monster new releases tomorrow. We'll be live early tomorrow, folks. 9 a.m. Pacific. We'll be live early. Jason Jaspi, breakfast with Jason. So he'll kick off the prism and flawless and all that other fun stuff with you. And then I'll pop in for the, uh, for the daytime and prime time. And we'll have a late night as well. And definitive sold out too. All right, so one of those two... We'll break first. We'll figure out what goes first. 
Now, this doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes the night before a monster new release night kind of gets quiet really quickly towards the end of end of my evening, the prime time hours. So my advice to you is get your spots early and often tonight. So to make sure your, your break happens. And remember, with all the new releases, you know, if you not not too many I think most of the focus is gonna be on the new releases tomorrow. I don't anticipate a lot of non new release breaks happening. So tonight is the night to accomplish that. That's why I was pushing this hockey mixer so much because if this hockey mixer rolled over until tomorrow, I don't think it would have happened. We would have, we would have had to wait an extra day. But I'm glad it did. So thank you very much, everyone. Canvas. Ryan McLeod, Young Guns, Oilers. That'll be for Mike. So Sam Strayer saying he's seen a lot of Young Guns with rounded corner damage. That's unfortunate. Although, I mean, to my eye, that they, they, the ones I'm pulling here seem to be seem to be okay. Well, I should probably randomize these, right? We'll do a left-right randomizer on this at the end. There's Lucas Carlson, Young Guns. So if you use the if you use that white paper as the background, you can kind of get an idea of corners. They look okay to me. Adam says yours almost looks like they were cut that way. Like it doesn't look like it was damaged. Like it had to be almost a manufacturing error. Uh, that Lucas Carlson goes to Chicago, by the way, Jason Siebert. We've got Anze Kopitar for the Kings, Matthew Subblefield. Matthew asking if Gabe Valeri is in it. Yeah, Jason does like Gabe Valeri a lot. I think he had a great debut too. I think we were watching the watching his debut. I think he scored in his debut. There's Artem Zagi Dulin. Again, it seems like I don't know, it seems okay. Hmm. Steph is saying a lot of people saying that they rushed this product and that's why the corners in some of these Young Guns cards are messed up. Adam saying all four corners look the same on multiple cards and they were from hobby boxes. Then it might just be what Steph was saying that maybe there was there's some inconsistencies there. There's Quinn Hughes, which kind of sucks. It's worth asking, yeah, if if it doesn't look like, if it looks like there's Kiefer Bellows, if it looks like all four corners are like that, usually when, when you're ripping a pack and if you mess up a corner, it's usually just one corner. You know what I mean? Where, whether you're left-handed or right-handed when you're ripping a pack and you, you know, usually it's going to be one corner right there. But if it's all four corners and it looks like it was cut that way, then then yeah, I feel like, I feel like you would have a good argument in getting some replacements. I mean, it couldn't hurt. Yeah, Ryan Harold saying that Upper Deck's pretty good about it. So yeah, maybe they will be open to that. Martin Kaup, Young Guns, Colorado. That'll be for Steve Birch. We got Young Guns ca Canvas, Philip Brober, Oilers. That'll be for Edmonton, Mike G. Come 
Uh, we're going to find a Lafreniere here. There he is. Got him. Alexis Lafreniere for the New York Rangers. The number one overall pick going to Matt Arnold. Wow, Mike Tower just said Kaut sometimes followed by La old Laffy here. There he is. So there you go, New York Rangers, Matt Arnold. Made us wait, says Matt Arnold. Yeah. And just one of those probably he bought us he bought his spot straight up. One of those might come close to covering the entire spot of your break, right? If I'm not mistaken. Maybe graded, probably. Maybe there's more of those cards out there in the world now, but. All right, now we're gonna go back a year. 2019, 2020 Series One hockey. Young gun. Who are who are last year's young guns? There's some synergy coming up back there. So this is the Hughes Bros and Makar, says Jack. All right. So Ryan Harold saying 200 raw for that Lafreniere Young Gun. So that means Ryan, Ryan Matt Arnold's uh, spot is spoken for, is taken care of. And if he gets it graded, if it grades out nicely, BGS 10, maybe two grand plus. Right now, if he, what if he goes off this season? How much could it go up if he, if he goes off this season? 3000 5000 What if he gets Rookie of the Year? What does that go? What does that Young Guns graded BGS town? What does that go for? Some of the, these cards are stuck together a little bit. Maybe from the, the printing material, the ink, the paint. Then we'll go into, after this box, we'll go back in time again to 2015-16. OPG Platinum. And then we've got 1920 OPG Platinum. That Synergy is 1920. That Premier is 1920. And what, what year was the Cup again? Cup is 1819 Cup Hockey. Good luck, everybody. More young guns hunting. There's young guns. Leon Bergman for the Sharks, San Jose. That's going to go to Jack. We've got a relic here, game jerseys. Ryan Kessler for the Ducks. That's the it's for Mike Tower. Caps on it, coaches. 
studio make it 19 straight 20 point games for Luca Garza. We're still in the first half. Hardest part of playing college basketball post switch. Kick it back out, repost, and finish. Brilliant. Mm, I don't like that. See ya. There's Zach McEwen. Vancouver. Young Guns. That'll be for Nick Stober. Looks like some of the the ink. It's too hot. Maybe it was in uh maybe the our distributor had left this in the sun. Sometimes this happens with really old sets, but this is 19. That's kind of odd. There's a Mackenzie McEacher in Young Guns for St. Louis. That's going to go to Jason and the Blues. I guess that's why they call it the Blues. Makes it hard to. Wait, how do I say it? It's Mc McEachern. No, it cannot be. It's, it's spelled each. McEachern, McEachern. Is that name worth remembering? Is he good? <laughs> if I'm gonna learn his name, how about, how about Victor Olafson? I think that's close enough. Buffalo. Sean Maddock. Buffalo. Buffalo gold. Another little stack to go here. There's Matt. Is this, a this is a trick question, right? I think this Matt is Matt Roy. Not like Patrick Waugh, I think. That young gun goes to Matt Settlefield and the Kings. And there's Patrick Waugh. No one's correcting me in the chat, so I think I'm right. I do need help during hockey breaks. There's Young Guns Canvas, Blake Lazot. There you go. That's for Matthew Stubblefield. So there you go, Stubblefield. Was that Patrick Waugh a short print? For Montreal, that goes to Ryan Harold. Nice. We'll have our shipping team top load all those before they go out. Young Guns, Kale Fleury, also for Ryan and Montreal. Montreal, Canadiens. Habitant, je ne sais quoi. And 
And we're doing left-right randomizers for those, and that card back there will represent that. And we got Ryan Suter and Logan Couture. Hey, was there a McDavid in there that I missed? I didn't know those, those were all short prints. That's not, that's not a short print, is it? Oh, the Gretzky is a short print? There was a Gretzky in here, wasn't it? There you go. There's your Gretzky, Matt. All right, now let's get into some OPG Platinum. This is 1516 OPG Platinum. More McDavid hunting. Edmonton. One hard sign autograph card per box is what we're looking for in here, plus parallels. There you go. Yeah, you got some Wayne's World going on there, Matthew. Did they do? Did they do a Wayne's World remake or not? They did Bill and Ted, which I did not see, but they did Bill and Ted. But did they redo? Not redo, but I guess do Wayne's World with them older? Or is that one of those things that people want to happen, but it hasn't happened yet? If it happened, I missed it. I know, I saw some gold right there too. If it's Buffalo gold... If it's Buffalo Gold, I'm going to freak out. I might I might create a stampede for those of you who know Buffalo Gold. McDavid Gold? That would be awesome. So Matt Stubblefield saying Mike Myers kind of a hermit these days. So maybe 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 that Wayne's World redo, not redo sequel, I guess probably maybe won't happen. All right, there's Kritz Kunitz. For the Penguins, there's your hard signed autograph for Walter and the Penguins. I'm basically looking for uh, McDavid's in here, I think. There's a uh, Trax Dustin Biflin. I love these parallels too. There's Nick Ritchie Trax parallel for Anaheim. That's for Mike Tower. Ryan C with the Jets. Got a Alex Ovechkin die cut. Buff, Bufflin? Biflin? Bufflin? There's a Gretzky, Oilers Gretzky die cut. Yes, it is, Nicholas. I 
I see no reason why we shouldn't do definitive. Creeping up on the gold, we got Rick Nash, Red Prism to 149, and there's Connor McDavid, marquee rookie Connor McDavid. No parallel on this, but still, still pretty nice. Mike Krasinski with the Edmonton Oilers. What do these go for? Raw and graded. We got Philip Forsberg, White Ice to 199. And another autograph? I thought there was only one, but we got Jared McCann. Rookie autograph for Vancouver, Nick Stover. Raw, Matt Selbefield thinks probably, probably goes for a real nice pog collection. Remember Pogs? Protect those die cuts there. Uh, what's that gold parallel back here? It's going to be Kyle Okposo. Is he good? That's uh, Seismic Gold, 36 out of 50. All right, so we got our McDavid. Now let's get into 2019-20 OPG Platinum. He used to be good. Mess, is that? <laughs> yeah, it is, Eric. Someone, someone sold out that little filler, so we'll get that done. Yeah, if it's on the site and it's sold out right now, folks, it will break tonight. So we'll go through orders after this, and we'll keep adding to the schedule. Don't worry. It's just we're just gonna have to figure out what order it's gonna go in. But but if it's sold out, it will happen tonight. So don't worry, folks. It'll happen. This is about 120 bucks a spot for a 10 box break, which includes all these boxes the cup hockey and the Austin Matthews autograph jersey giveaway, Reebok jersey giveaway. An authentic jersey with the Reebok tag still on it. That's not bad. 35 to 50 bucks for that McDavid Ross is Jack. And a BGS 9.5, he saw it about 150. That's strong. Kirby Doc. Do we like Kirby Doc? That's for Chicago. That's for Jason. That's to 99. Tuvo. Turvinen. Arctic Free. I like how the... I like how they... 
print the name of the parallels there. I dig that. Carolina, that'll be for Ryan. Morgan Frost, Matt Pink, parallel. And Brady Keeper is your rookie auto, Florida, Travis. There's Adam Boquist, silver. Marquee rookie, silver, or I think maybe rain, rainbow? Yeah, rainbow. That's what they call the refractors. It's Mark Shifley. To 149, Gribois, Guillaume, Guillaume. Capo Caco is pretty good, right? There's another Connor McDavid. Kale McCarr. Matt Duchesne. Violet Pixels. Isn't that the name of a, of a band? Or am I thinking of Violet Femmes? That's for Nashville. That'll go to Michael Karras. There is a rookie Kale McCarr for Colorado. That's for Steve Birch. You don't kind of have to answer this, but do you guys make a good amount of profit on breaks? It's not polite to talk about money amongst friends, Steph. There's Capo Caco. I'll tell you what, though. If it wasn't profitable, would, why would we keep doing it for the last six years? Guillaume? Brisebois? Guillaume. I take. I need to take a French class before I do any of these group breaks. This names trip me up. Oh, Guillaume. No E at the end. Guillaume Breeze. Jack, can you just pop up? You're just down the way. Just pop up to, to Jaspies. And you can just read off the names. I'll just do the, I'll just shuffle through the cards. And then look toward look to you and be like, huh? <laughs> bad these synergy packs were when we did case breaks of these. All right. All right. Thanks, Zeb. We've been doing this for a minute or two. We've got a little experience under our belts. I don't know if I could say the same for when we first started, though. There's Trent Frederick to 399. There's Zach McEwen. Now I'm questioning everything about these Mac names. To three ninety nine, we've got Sidney Crosby to seven ninety nine. There's a lot going on here. Steve all these up. Sidney Crosby, I can pronounce. <laughs> All right, there's Quinn Hughes to 399. 
Philip Zadina to three ninety nine. Max Jones to 299. Cody Glass to 799. Josh Jacobs, the Raiders running back, playing a little hockey on the side. Going to New Jersey. Chris with the Devils. When your daughter was born, the first words I taught her was Nikolai Kabibulin. Does she have a penchant for languages now? All right. Premier hockey. Wait, aren't these usually in tins? Or do they not do tins this year? Anyway, here's some Premier Hockey. Those are two relics on the bottom. Okay. She's a doc. Oh, okay, she's a doctor. So a lot, lot, a lot of tough names in the doctor. Were those Miko Rat, R Ratnin, Ratanin, Ratatatat, -tat. Ratanian. There's Brandon Gignac. Devils. I would take credit for that, Jack. It'd just be like if I didn't teach you those names, all those, all those medical names would have been difficult. There's E2 Brutus. No, Leo Star Starnin. One ninety out of two forty nine. Three color patch and on card autograph for Carolina. Do we like this guy? Carolina. That'll be for Ryan Harold. We got Nicholas uh, Haig, 9 out of 99 for Vegas. That's going to be for Ray Hughes with the Coyotes Golden Knights combo. We got a Quinn Hughes redemption. Nice. Upper Deck Premier Attractions Rookie Auto Patch, number to 49. Plenty of time to redeem as well. Now, Quinn Hughes is Canucks? Or is he the Vancouver? Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty strong. Wait, is he the better Hughes or is it Jack? Who's the better Hughes? Is Jack Hughes the better Hughes? But I think people seem to generally like both Hughes. Hughes is. is. I like Phil Hughes. Phil Hughes? <laughs> the boss man likes Phil Hughes. That's his favorite Hughes. Ben Bishop and Jamie Ben, both with the stars, 66 out of 99. Dual relic for Dallas. That'll be for Ray Hughes. Ray Hughes is my favorite Hughes. Howard Hughes? That's a good Hughes. And another stars. Jersey. It's Joe Pavelski. Howard Hughes. A lot of Hugheses out, out there in the world. Show me the blueprints. All right. 18-19, the cup. The way of the future. Way of the future.
All right, our last box is 2018-19, the Cup Hockey. This is, is this the Austin Matthews here? This is the, Quinn Hughes was a rookie in this, or a drafted that, that particular year. Wait, who are we looking for in this particular? No, is this the Nico Hersher year? Oh, this is the Elias Pettersson year as well. I think he's he's in this he's in the mix here as a rookie. Maybe Brady Kachuk, Kot Kanemi. Maybe some of, those are some of those names. Nico, perhaps. Yeah, Nico Hersher's in the mix as well. All right. Well, I'm sure you'll tell me, ladies and gentlemen, if if we pull something awesome. All right, good luck. We got for the Islanders, Anders Lee. 236 out of 249 for Adam and the Islanders. All right, we got three color patch and autograph. We got Cal Peterson, 207 out of 249. For the Kings, Matthew Subblefield. We got two color patch and autograph, signature materials, Miro Heiskanen, 34 out of 99. Dallas. That's going to go to Ray Hughes. I think he's he's pretty good, Jack saying. That's really good. Sammy Niku for the Winnipeg Jets. 35 out of 36 going to Ryan Kaysen. And we got another redemption coming up. It doesn't expire until 2021, September of 2021, so plenty of time. It's 1819 NHL the Cup base set rookie auto patch, number to 249. Do I, do I have my checklist up for this? It's, uh, and I don't know if this player is good or not. What? Matthew Joseph? Cardboardconnection.com says Tampa Bay Lightning. And that'll go to Jason. No, Steph says he's not good. RPA. And the last one is Chronology Masterpieces Plate. That's Rick Middleton, one of one for Boston. That's going to go to Travis. And close out the break with a train whistle. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And there you go, folks. That's our 10 box slap shot hockey mixer. Thanks, everyone, for getting into it. We really appreciate it. We got a couple randomizers to do, and then I will do a quick recap. 
We gotta randomize the left right for those. And we gotta give away this uh, Austin Matthews autographed jersey. There's his autograph right there. Fanatics authentication sticker right here. Reebok tags right there, so it's an official jersey. So that should be pretty exciting. All right, so let's go to random.org, and we'll just do left, right on those randomizers. And for the jersey, everybody gets a shot, from Mike Tower down to Ryan and everybody in between. Name on top, we'll get the Austin Matthews autographed jersey. That's a nice little bonus in this break. Let's roll it, randomize it, both lists eight times. Five and a three. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And eighth and final time, it'll be the right side cards that'll get him. So for all those left, right cards, right side teams. After eight times, the Austin Matthews jersey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and good luck. Eighth and final time after eight. Congrats to name on top is going to be Chris Randon. Chris, I don't think I called your name out all break. But you got a really nice hit. Oh, you know what? This is actually, I was going to open it up and show you all the nice logos and everything, but this is this is sealed up like this. So I'm just going to leave it in there for you. But there's the Austin, Austin Matthews autograph, silver ink. The Fanatics sticker is there. There's the Reebok logo right there. You can see the WS of Matthews on the back there. Pretty nice stuff. I think, do we have more of those Fanatics jerseys in stock on the... Sold out! Wow. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna pro, I was gonna promote those fanatics jerseys, but those sold out apparently. So moot point. You can still visit personal breaks at Jaspie's Breaks. All right. Here is a quick recap right here. Yeah, Walter, you won a spot. Nice Lafreniere. In, uh, in credentials break number two. That was Ryan Murphy. There's Matthew Joseph. And there's a Connor McDavid right there. And there you go, folks. Uh, that Again, that was Jaspie's 10 box slap shot hockey mixer. I'm Joe for jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.